the roof of our pop-up, no matter how much I scrub it, just looks gross. Uh, and also I think the little, maybe you can get little, um, tiny little breaks in the surface and you could get leaks. So I'm going to use rubberized paint to make it look better uh, and seal it. We've got this Henry's Durabrite White Elastomeric Roof Coating. It's basically rubberized paint. Available at uh, Home Depot for like 25 bucks. Some Scott Bright. I got roller. I also got a bigger one. So what we're going to do is use this first and a bucket of soap. I'm going to clean everything carefully. Tape off whatever I don't want painted. Uh, also, I'm going to have to use... Come look at this. See that? That's an ancient sticker. I'm going to have to use my heat gun, maybe, and the Scott Bright uh, scrubbers and take it off before I paint. Also, I'll have to remove all these lights here. There's a number of these. Lights, lights, lights. These just two screws and it comes out. And then I'll use tape and tape this area so I don't paint on the steel. Doesn't need to be painted. That's another project for another time. Again, I'm just dealing with this disgusting surface that we've scrubbed and it's still not any better. Can you see that? This, what looks like dirt, looks like you could just clean it out. It doesn't come out. This is brittle now from age. So I'm hoping that the paint will help rejuvenate it and give us a few more years of service. It's a 1997 Starcraft, so it's definitely not new. Again, scrub, dry, paint, well, tape, paint, and then paint one more time. The instructions say paint this way, lengthwise, then paint this way, uh, sideways, crisscross type of pattern. So a Scott pad is pretty aggressive. And even though I'm scrubbing, this stuff doesn't come up. So I don't think it's gonna look nice. Ooh, it's really, really good prep though for uh, paint. You can feel how rough that is. I'm also gonna patch this with some caulk. I just gotta focus on the, the stickers. Just gonna use the old pigskin to dry it off and then I'll start on the stickers. I think heat gun and scotch bright is gonna do it. In case you're unfamiliar with it, this is called a chamois. Uh, it's like a flexible cloth squeegee. They make them out of pig skin. Traditionally, this is a synthetic. They work great. We're gonna use a sprayer nozzle from the air compressor just to blow it out, dry it, before we seal it. This is very important. Paintable. Otherwise it's like oil and water. This stuff will just reject a coating of paint. And since we're going to cover it with rubberized paint, I'm not going to worry about making it look perfect. It just turns it to gum immediately. Heat gun, way to go. I don't even know if a hair dryer works this well. Heat gun's working great. So a little mineral spirits took us the rest of the way. Cut the glue. Otherwise, if you don't get the glue off, you're gonna see the outline in the paint of the word Starcraft, and it's all broken and weird and wouldn't look right. Of course, my biggest fear is that this is gonna look super bright white, shiny and new, and this is gonna look faded and gross, and then I'll have to paint this next. Now we're working the back side here. Scrape in one direction, just forward. You, instead of rolling it, you peel it off and it just kind of comes off in these nice sheets of melty, melted vinyl maybe. And the screwdriver I'm using is an old screwdriver that's very blunt. It doesn't have any sharp edges on it anymore because it's so old and well used. Uh, that avoids gouging and that's preferred. I think the heat gun actually gets hotter, much hotter than a hairdryer. Actually, I know it does. And it's it's definitely an advantage over just a hairdryer. But if all you have is a hairdryer, do it. That's good right there. Oh yeah. Oh boy, that's gross. And I don't have to take them off, like remove them, there's wires holding them in. 
I just gotta get them out of the way so I can paint underneath it. Ah, a little bit of putty. So even after all these years, <laughs> it's still soft. We'll clean up underneath the light. And I got the front and back done. Stickers removed. Top is scoured, cleaned. I even use the air compressor to dry nooks and crannies. All right, so this is finishing up pretty quick here. Uh, plus we're losing some light. Um, I'm gonna blue tape the trim around and even the centerpiece, the trim on the front and the sides, uh, and then I'll start painting. Doesn't have to be perfect. We're talking about white on white on white. All right, so before I begin, I gotta think this through. Kinda like mopping a floor. I need to start in the middle and work my way out. Otherwise, I'm gonna lay in paint and get covered in wet paint. So this went south pretty quick. Uh, I couldn't find my roller in my pan. Forgot I had given it to somebody. So I ran to a friend's house and picked up uh, his roller that he lent me. Thankfully. Have a good night. We'll pick this up maybe tomorrow. So I'm in the midst of my second coat. Um, when I first got up, there was still dew on it. Some areas were still damp. Uh, really bad idea to paint at night. Um, but it dried quick when the sun came up. Um, so I'm just putting the second coat on. It's looking really good. It looks really clean. I'm very happy with it. And by the way, yesterday I went <coughs> this way. Today I'm going this way according to instructions. Oh, and also because it sat all night with wet paint on top. There are forever entombed in some spots, some insects. So that's it. Second coat. Much better coverage than the first coat. I guess when it flashes, I could tell if it needs even a third coat. It was pretty dark. Looks good though. So now that this started to dry, I can see that there's areas here that are kind of coming through. Um, I think it's going to need a third coat, but it'll have to wait. We'll be back. We got a thing to go to. So back from uh, a visit to the Berkshires in Massachusetts, and this looks fantastic. I'm very happy with it. It feels great. It's dry but it needs one more coat. There is still, it's hard to see maybe through the camera, but there's still some of that black gray uh, showing through. So I'm gonna give it one more coat. I think that'll be the final coat. I'll have to retape just these sides because I kind of got excited and I pulled the tape off early. But I think one more coat and that's it. So this is almost a gallon, it's 0.9, which is an odd size, 3.41 liters. What a weird measurement. Feels like there's just enough for one more coat. So this is a 24 foot StarCraft pop-up from 1997. And after not being painted for 20 years, um, it's using three coats to completely cover it. So I think the one gallon, sorry, the 0.90 gallon, <laughs> is enough the nine tenths is just enough to give you one complete coverage so it seems to be sucking it up like a sponge so i i had to scrape every last bit out of the point nine 
gallon uh, container into the um, bin and uh, almost done. I'm halfway done with the roof, but I needed every last drop. All right, so now we just let it dry. And then when it's dry, I'll put the lights back on. I'll put caulk all the way around the lights in the back so it's sealed, I don't want any water damage. Uh, and then remove the tape and uh, we should be all done. So the third coat is dry. It looks great. Can you see? Full coverage. I think it looks great. I'm happy with it. So now I'm just gonna put the lights back on, uh, take the tape off, and we'll call it done. I'm just gonna run a bead of caulk around this just to seal it and keep water out, mostly from going through here and getting behind here and going behind the light. Yeah! A little more caulk though. All right, now we're doing the back. Front's done. I'm really using a lot of caulk on this, but oh, if it's not sealed and you don't know about it, damage. All right, so we're all done. We did three coats of uh, the Henry Elast Elastomeric paint, rubberized paint, and uh, it looks fantastic. We got the lights back on, um, pulled the tape off, and uh, after three coats, it was sealed and looks wonderful. And I'm happy that this color doesn't seem to be too much of a contrast to this color. Otherwise, I'd be uh, very tempted to start painting the bottom as well. But the bottom is another story, and I don't believe you'd want to use this kind of paint. It's too porous, it's too rough. We need something more like primer and almost like an auto paint on the bottom to make it look really nice. Um, but I'm happy with it. I'm, I think this is a project that's um, more time consuming than it is difficulty. It's more patience than it is uh, difficult. And just let, let it dry. Hopefully you have a clear, dry day if you're gonna do it. Um, and coat your old pop-up camper top with some elastomeric paint and uh, just get it done. I think you'd be happy with it. Thanks for watching.